Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Once in every blue moon, along comes an idea, a concept, a product so gobsmackingly simple, you just want to smack your forehead and go, why didn't I think of that? That is just so obvious, it's brilliant. Why hasn't anyone done that before? It solves such an incredibly simple yet annoying problem in almost, you know, in millions, billions of products out there. What is it? Well, I was reading yesterday about Microsoft's new InstaLoad battery technology. Microsoft? Yeah, it's, you know, electronics engineering, Microsoft. It's not something you'd normally associate with a company like Microsoft. But their new InstaLoad battery technology is just so gobsmackingly simple and brilliant. It has some limitations, but we'll get into that. But you just shake your head and go, surely somebody has done that before. What it is, is it allows standard AA, AAA, C's, D's, regular batteries to be inserted into a product either way around. The polarity doesn't matter and it doesn't involve circuitry. It's just the battery contacts themselves which allow you to do this. It automatically fixes the polarity of the battery whichever way you insert it. Brilliant! Now Microsoft just announced this a couple of days ago and they're trying to license this InstaLoad battery technology, as you'd expect. They've got a patent or patents on it. I haven't actually looked at the patents, but they've clearly got patents and they're trying to license the technology to people to uh, install, you know, to allow consumers to install product, install batteries either way around. And um, I think they've already picked up a couple of uh, major manufacturers to actually do it. And here's a photo of the actual battery technology and take a look at it. These little contacts, it's incredibly simple. It's just you have one of these contacts at either end and basically what it does is the battery nipple actually goes down into, um, into the contact. So it's got essentially a positive and a negative contact at each end and they're just wired in parallel, crisscross fashion across the battery. And you, when you insert the battery at one end, the nipple, whichever end it is, goes into the nipple contact and makes contact with the nipple bit, the positive one, and the other end makes contact with the negative, and vice versa, and that's it. And it's just incredibly simple. Now, if somebody came to me and gave me the spec, I need you to design a battery holder or a product that does that, that you can install batteries either way around, and I don't want to pay extra for any circuitry, well, I probably would have come up with that, because it's so bleedingly obvious. And I'm not sure if anyone's ever done it before, but I'd be a bit surprised if there's not some niche product out there that, you know, that actually essentially has this in it. I, I've heard of a few products over the years that, um, I think I may have even seen them, that, you know, you, if you plug the battery in and it physically won't let you install it the wrong way around, it uses the nipple as a key to install the battery, and that forces you to install the battery the correct way, but this new InstaLoad thing actually handles that either way around. It just doesn't matter. You plug in the battery and bingo. <laughs> Brilliant. Has anyone done it before? I don't know. Let me know. If you've seen a product and you can bust the Microsoft uh, uh, patent by, with um, some actual prior art, because it's, it's 2010 for God's sake, you know? How, how long have these batteries, standard batteries, been around? And, well, Microsoft have obviously patented this and Presumably, nobody's ever done it before, but that doesn't stop the patent office's patent office giving them a patent for it because they're notoriously bad at finding prior art. But yeah, if you can find something, leave a comment and let's bust the Microsoft patent on this wide open. Now, this technology isn't magic. I said there's a few problems with it, and here's problem number one. Now, please excuse the crudity of this model. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it, and here it is. Right? It's got basically a positive and negative contact at each end, okay? And what it is, you know, it's got that U-shaped uh, one for the negative terminal and then the inner one which is set back, it's, you know, it's set back a certain distance like that for the positive terminal for the nipple. And the battery has a nipple on one end and when you insert it, okay, these 
two negative terminals must be shorted together and the two positive terminals must be shorted together and that goes off to your circuitry okay there's your there's your negative and there's your positive terminal which goes off to your circuitry now clearly you've got two negative terminals shorted at each end and when you plug the battery in like this you're you've got uh, these two negative terminals protruding out the furthest so if you plug in the battery and it doesn't align correctly that nipple if that touches that negative terminal while the back end touches the negative terminal the battery touches the negative at that end bingo bang you short out your battery and if some batteries can produce um, you know a very high um, uh, short circuit currents in the orders of you know tens of amps for some of the rechargeable batteries so really you know it's critical that you design the space between um, between the positive uh, between that negative um, terminal there so that and your battery holder itself the physical implementation of the battery holder so the battery slides down and there's absolutely no possibility at all of actually shorting out your battery so that's critical and some batteries actually have different size nipples they can actually be different um, uh, depths and different uh, widths so you've got to actually but you know account for that so I'm just wondering if uh, the Microsoft uh, they give you application notes if you sign up for them to use their technology I wonder if they've actually how much engineering they've put into that of actually assembling the battery in there now, of course, it might be possible to protect against that short circuit uh, condition by installing a resettable poly switch or something in there between the two negative terminals, but that's not really a proper solution. So that's problem number one. Problem number two comes from people's just decades worth, I don't know, 30, 40 years worth of um, installing these batteries a certain way around. People are conditioned to look. When they open a product to replace the batteries, they're conditioned up here to look for those positive and negative terminal markers and if they don't find them they get all paranoid and Ooh, which way should the battery go and you know Microsoft claimed that uh, one of the big things is that oh you don't need those markings anymore well you're gonna have to have something bigger and better that says it can go either way around to make it obvious but either way people have to look for that so Really, unless you know that, you're, that, that the product you've actually bought is, um, uh, you know, has this InstaLow technology in it, then, you know, <laughs> you're just going to have to look for that and you're going to have to, unless every product in the world changes um, instantly and then maybe 10 years time, it doesn't, polarity doesn't matter, but that's not going to happen. So, really, you can't really get around people's mind conditioning to having to install batteries the right way. So really there's no huge time saving there unless you're actually aware of it. It could actually confuse some people. And the third problem might actually come down the track. Now let's say this technology works and it gets out there and people start getting familiar with it. It's been out there for five or ten years. And, uh, you know, there might be some really stupid people out there. Now don't underestimate stupid because people will surprise you every time. People might start inserting, thinking that, oh, every product should have this technology where polarity on the battery doesn't matter, and I can insert it either way around, and people start blowing up their products. But, hey, you know, <laughs> you can't cater against stupid, and I'm sure the lawyers already have that, uh, you know, squared away in every product by having the warning markings on there and printing it in the manual. So, eh, don't worry about that one. Now, curiously, take a look at this. This is one of the terminals from um, their InstaLoad battery PDF document. Now, clearly this one is just um, only suitable for products that have like a cylindrical um, tube, like a keychain flashlight battery, where the battery gets actually loaded into the actual tube. Because um, really, unless there's something that aligns the battery on that axial um, plane, you can't just use this terminal to slide the battery in because the nipple will just short out to, to that complete circular outer negative ring. So, you know, they don't actually show that here as um, being used in um, any sort of, you know, tubular type system, but that one clearly does. Now, here's a photo of the other type they've actually got, and this one can clearly um, be used in products where you actually insert 
the batteries, you know, horizontally or, you know, vertically, sorry, vertically down into the actual uh, product. And you can see that, that the nipple can't actually um, short out to the negative terminal. So that's a pretty good design there. Now, the third one here, which they show as you get in one of their test products, I think it is, um, that's sort of a similar kind of concept, but I like the other plastic one uh, better. Now, this one could actually, you could see that if the nipple was too wide or something like that, or, or the battery was, or the, if those battery wells weren't actually set to the correct width, then people could actually, possibly, insert that battery um, and short out the actual nipple to the negative terminal. So you've got to be real careful with this design. Microsoft, or well, people who implement this design, really need to take into account, uh, you know, the varying types of nipples out there on batteries and how they're actually going to be inserted to make sure it's completely safe. So this new Microsoft InstaLoad technology, is it any good? Well, I don't know. The verdict's still out on that. Let's see what they, what products they actually come up with. And um, I think there are quite a few niche products out there where, where this will be quite handy um you know in, in for an emergency situations like um headlamps and torches um you know if you're hanging on the side of a cliff or something and you're, you're doing something really dangerous and you need to and your batteries run out and you need to change them and you've only got one hand and you've got no other lights and you you know and you just need to wham those batteries in to get uh, the thing working again then you know this technology could be really really handy and well i'm surprised nobody's done it before i saw it and i went Oh, why didn't I come up with that and patent that? God, could have made a million bucks, 10 million, 100 million, a billion, I don't know. Let's see how far the technology can go. And if you've, remember, if you've seen this before in some other product, leave a note and we'll bust this Microsoft patent wide open. Beauty.